Hello and welcome to the HI Bull Bear Market Report for August 6, 2018. My name is Adam Straseski and so glad you're here. Here's our agenda for today. We're going to go over the broad market readings and then get into the nitty gritty of this week's operating plan. Barometer, bull market still in force. We're in a risk on stance even after a lot of the monthly closes which were frankly all bullish. Our bull meter stays intact and we are in a risk on stance on the longer term. 12 month momentum also both the S&P and the MSI, MSC all world XUSA index finished positive for the month both well ahead of treasuries of the shorter term treasuries and the S&P 500 is greatly outpacing the MSC all world XUSA index and so all the, the new uh, the new things that we're looking at, we're going to be looking in the U.S. markets. Here's a look at correction risk according to breadth, and we still have a, you know, I guess you could call this a negative divergence in the uh, both the longer term and the shorter term oscillator. However, it's really not given us too many readings since this is kind of just dragged out for so long. Uh, really, what we're looking for, if we do see a pop to the upside in price, we want to see a strong pop in breadth as well. We're starting to get a little bit of that on the shorter term oscillator and also a little bit on the longer term oscillator. So frankly, we just want to see that follow through in order to give some confidence to the, the bulls if price in fact does rise. S&P 500, a weekly chart. Looks good, up 0.76% for the week. You can see we're still well within this large trading range and we are in a nice bull channel right here. Good that, surprise, that price held on this short term support. Now we couldn't quite get it past the highs of last week and so this week we're looking to see if we can surpass those highs and then break out of this, uh, this bull channel to the upside and then also possibly uh, test and surpass the highs from back in January. And here's a look at our operating plan. Still like preferreds, U.S. small caps finished stronger than large caps, U.S. growth finished stronger than value on the time frame that we look at. And here's a look at all of our weekly swings. This is a U.S. small cap on top and U.S. growth on bottom. Both good week form, up 1.18% for small cap and it was up for growth also. You can see well within the channel, small caps ahead of uh, large caps. You know, one way to large caps, uh, for example, the S&P 500 is still well within that, that trading range. Small caps have already broken out. So if uh, the market continues higher, then of course we want to see small caps and U.S. growth surge to the upside. U.S. Treasuries, flat week, just still hanging around on support. So we'll see if uh, we can get a bounce and uh, but there's there's a lot of pressure on treasuries right now. Not too hopeful about it. Australia down 1.16% for the week. We've got a stop right in this range. Uh, initial stop that was way down here. We adjusted it up. You know, just can't seem to get anything going in Australia. We're now we broke out of the the bear channel and then no follow through. So. You know, it's still, it's well within this tight trading range, still break to the upside. We're just going to keep a close eye on it. MSI, MSCI EFA value index down 1.5% for the week. Each time we have an advance, it seems like we get a pullback. So hopefully we get an advance right here, breaks through this resistance area. Uh, but if not, I'm going to keep a close eye on this one. We might stop out, uh, get stopped out of this one. Healthcare up over 2% for the week, 2.01%. We've got to stop all the way down here in a second purchase range down here. But looks good for healthcare, nice and strong. Again, just like the S&P 500, we want to see if it can break to the upside of this, this high set back in January. Transportation up 1.28% for the week. Looks good for transportation. And second purchase range all the way down here and a little bit below there a initial stop. U.S. Aerospace and Defense down 1.34% 1. 1. for the week. Bad week for U.S. Aerospace and Defense but after three strong bull bars like that uh, I doubt that it's going anywhere quick. To the downside we'll look for some upside uh, some upside movement this week. See if we can get that 
and we've got a second purchase range basically down towards the double bottom but you know it looks like it might have broke out to the upside from this channel it's really too close to tell and uh, too close to mean anything frankly so again after these bull bars we'd look to see some more uh, positive action as far as any new purchases this week nothing for the monthly trender nothing for the weekly swings didn't get a lot of uh, uh, buy signals so we're going to we're going to hold off on that right now that's it so with that have a great week and we'll talk to you next time